You know, you can use these boots for drifting. It makes faster turns. Sorry. I'm still not completely used to this model. Are we saving those for later? Of course! the nest. Well, there's no doubt about it now. Source was clearly colonized. Look at these. They don't look like research outposts. These are clearly dwellings. Huh. I don't understand. Why would Exonova lie in their file? That's what bothers you? There are tons of reasons people lie. I think the question you should ask is... How was the apiary able to colonize an entire planet without anyone noticing? Where did the people go? What does that mean for us? That means we're in deep loot. I don't know what happened here, but it's obvious the apiary council doesn't want anyone to know about it. If they learned that we made our way here, they probably wouldn't be happy. Yeah, well, we weren't exactly planning on telling them. No, that's true. So, in the end, not much difference. Uh, Just looking on the bright side. You're right. We're gonna need that. Ready? Now! Uh, you! Ready when you are. All set? Uh, you? Yep, saw that. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Your turn. I got this. Ready when you are. Ready. This one's ready. Yep. Almost done. Well done. Who's next? Draco had this location in its memory. Go and 
kind of slow back there. Whatever. On your mark. Go, go, go! You? Yep, saw that. All set? That's gotta hurt. What? That should do it. Done and done. Done and done. Huh? Did you feel that tremor? Yes. And I don't like this at all. Should we take a closer look? Now what is this? No idea. But its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. That's it? Aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what this machine was for? I know that it's good for nothing now. And we have a nest that needs repairs. Alright then. Let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Right now? I was thinking about doing that later. On the way back. Okay. We'll be back. Wondering if we'd ever find one. What is it? A drone charging station. For those that aren't built to harvest their own flow. Just like our old Dracker buddy. That would explain why its location was still in its memory. You mean to tell me that this is some sort of flow pump? No. I mean that's exactly what it is. That's awesome. Do you think it still works? Let's see. What's the matter? It says system malfunction error log sent. Sent as in... I don't know, Kay. Sent. Uh... Did we tattle on ourselves just now? If the apiary is receiving a message coming from source, they're gonna know it's us. Uh, hold on. Can this thing really beam a signal all the way to the apiary? We're millions of lumsec away from the closest planet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. <sighs> I'm probably overreacting. Until we figure it out, we probably shouldn't stay near this thing. Sure, you know where you're going? You can trust me. Oh, look! That's how we got here. Are you sure we didn't come this way? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what about the nest? Do you know which way that is? I think somewhere in that direction. 
But I can't really tell with this mist. At least from here, we can see the whole flow bridge. Yeah. Hard to tell when you're inside of it, but that thing is massive. And from here, you never know this is just millions of flow threads woven together. Just millions of flow threads? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering what the universe would look like without the flow arcs. For one thing, we wouldn't be here to talk about it. How do you mean? The flow bridges are linking together two points in space, correct? Carry on. Anytime matter goes in the vicinity of these bridges, it's transported from one end to the other. Matter gathers at either end of the bridge, and that's what ends up creating these planets. Without flow bridges, no planets. Without planets, no life would happen. Without life happening? Know us. Where does the flow come from, though? I thought it was supposed to be generated inside planetary cores. Yes. The pressure that's being exerted by matter allows flow to stabilize in the shape of threads. So? Don't you see the issue? If the flow bridges allow for the creation of planets, and the planets allow for the creation of flow bridges, which one came first? The flow bridges or the planets? Uh, I guess a planet had to be there before... Unless the flow could... No. Then maybe the stars would... Or maybe science cannot explain everything. And there are mysteries which are just bigger than you. <sighs> okay, I give up. K0, Universe 1. Another tremor. Catala Sparata. A bulbous plant from the Suppilaceous family. This flower has an incredible feature. It can flap its petals to send olfactory signals upwards and attract pollinators in the sky. I wasn't asking. But you can tell me what that is. Huh. That's a big one. A little large for a pollinator, but she doesn't look very aggressive. Why is she flying in place like this? She may be attracted by our smell, or by something that's in our pocket. Do you want an apple dew? Oh, okay. Nope, no apple dew. Uh, some rust? What are you doing? Why would she want some rust? Uh, this? Ah, she likes this. What was that? Leftover roasted apple dews. She didn't want apple dews, but roasted apple dews are good? Mm. Such is the power of cooking. Uh. Anyway, she doesn't seem to have any issue traveling from one islet to the other. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, and that's a very bad idea. We must not be thinking about the same thing. Because I'm thinking about a rather excellent idea. I'm pretty sure that you're thinking what I'm thinking that you're thinking. Oh yeah? Go on then. What am I thinking? You're thinking about climbing up on top of her so we could ride her to other islets. Oh. Oh. Yes. Can you explain to me why this is a bad idea? Ever heard of the law of attraction? Gravitational pull? Broken bones? Come on, you. I thought you loved flying. Yes, with seats and safety belts. Oh yeah, and cockpits, too. Plus, how do you expect to climb on top of her? <laughs> She'll never cooperate. We just fed her. We're buddies now. Kay, you're out of your mind. If I manage to get on top of her, you'll follow? And if you don't manage? I will rub your feet every day for a week. Two weeks. Ten days. Sold. Do your worst. <sighs> Ready to get on board? Do I have a choice? A bet is a bet. Ugh, I hate you, Kay. No, you're gonna love it. You'll see. <sighs> Why isn't she moving? Maybe she's waiting for directions. Let me try.
the other way? As you wish. Turquoise nodulated cap, semi-resupinate, smooth margin, and hymenium is adenate. Anastomizing lamellae are conchular with sharp and regular marginates. Short viscid stripe, flaring slightly underneath the lamellae. Superic fibrous flesh, tight under the hymenophore yet spongy around the tubes. These are definitely Helicobacinium aplanatum. Are they good ones or bad ones? Good ones. Very good ones. Not only is Helicobacinium aplanatum edible, but it also has healing and immunostimulating qualities. An all-in-one first aid kit. That's perfect. Let's binge on helicaps and immunostimulate our guts. Uh, Helicobacinium aplanatum? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, helicaps. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. I am happy to say that is over and done with. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Huh. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes. Okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is... At what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still okay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still okay? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust. That's funny. At first I found the shrooms disgusting, but now I actually think he carries them well.
What are you doing outside this late? A cutting of Catalyst Barada. That way, we won't have to walk to reach remote islets. Couldn't that wait till tomorrow? Cuttings take better at night, thanks to the influence of the moon. You know, the moon will still be there tomorrow morning. Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's gone. You're right. Okay, I might be a bit tired. Come on. Let's go to sleep. Whose turn is it to clean out the shower? If you have to ask, that means it's yours. You can cook too. Stop it. I just skewered a bunch of vegetables. Even still, it tastes great. Through none of my doing. But it does taste great. Did you find it? No. You'll have to hold on a little longer. I still think that I could have reached that shelf by climbing on a chair. Sure, but you don't know where to look. Neither do you, apparently. I was thinking of something mean to reply, but I'll wait till I'm off your shoulders. Good thinking. Are you sure it's here? Well, it's the most inaccessible part of the nest, so yes, chances are that's where I put it. Okay, but considering that even while standing on a chair you can't reach the shelf, whose head was between your thighs when you decided to put it away? Uh, you do not ask those questions of a lady. And anyway, all of your questions will be answered as soon as I... Ha! <coughs> huh. I got it! You can put me down. So? Give it to me. Oh no! I will let you see my diary, because I'm nice. But first, I have to check that there's nothing embarrassing in it. It's a diary. It's designed to be embarrassing. Nothing too embarrassing. You know, this planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but, I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. They must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? What do you mean? Did the apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more. You know, the <laughs> no, but having self ick what from what? Um, what? Unless what? What do you I didn't, but it's if we keep on exploring. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Oh 
know you like scratchings from Mama you, don't you? He prefers Papa K's. Tell her, Rank. Tell her you prefer Papa K's. Good thing no one is seeing us right now. <laughs> <laughs>